Hi guys, welcome to my first video. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own HTML email signature and use it with Office 365, um, Microsoft 365 Outlook on the web. So to start off, you will need an email signature. I'll put this one in the description if you want to use this. You can adapt it, put your own images on, put your own text on, etc. Uh, but there's loads of templates online that you can modify and change yourself. Or you can even create your own from scratch. But in this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can embed that into Office 365 and use it in your organization. So to begin, you want to open up your HTML email signature that you've got. So this is the code that I've got for mine, which I've created. And you see there's quite a lot of stuff in there. And um, the reason for that is because the images that we've got here um, are all encoded in base64. Because of the way it works, you can't hyperlink into you can't link to images on the web using like image hosting services. So you need to convert it first into base64, which I'll put a link in the description to show you how to do it. And then you can embed it in and it will display just like this. So if we go back to our code, select it all and copy it, and you want to head back to Office 365. You want to go to Settings, All Outlook Settings, Compose Reply, and Email Signature. Now, if you tried to paste it in there now, all you get is the raw HTML code. It wouldn't actually work. And you've probably already tried that. Maybe that's why you're watching this video. So if you delete that, and start by typing anything you want, like test. You want to right click and inspect element. So if you're using Chrome, it'll be inspect element. If you're using Edge, it'll just be inspect. And then you want to find that there. Edit as HTML. So right click, edit as HTML. Now you want to remove that HTML code and paste in all your code that you've got from the one that you've designed yourself. Paste it in there. Click to the side, close the editor, and as you can see, the HTML signature is now in there. What you want to do before you continue is make sure you hit save, otherwise it won't save your signature in there. So click save. That should be done now. So if I close that down, I can go to insert signature. Oh, wrong one. Insert signature, and then there we have it. There is our HTML signature. It's literally that simple. Such a simple task. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll have more little tips and tricks like this.